Okay folks, Polly here and I'm in the backyard of my house and what we're going to talk about is something I just purchased as you can tell from the title. It's a tandem bicycle. Um, originally I was looking for a tandem bicycle on Facebook Marketplace. Found a really nice one made by Schwinn, 1970s like. They wanted almost $300 and uh, I sent a text or message whatever you want to call it and person never replied finally got a reply yesterday which was about five days later but uh instead I went on Amazon and found this thing this thing cost $399 $99 whatever $400 right and uh brand I never heard of it they got little palm trees on the frame cool little design it's kind of a nice thick frame tires got white walls kind of cool looking treads not a whole lot um, <clears throat> at first I did not like these wide handlebars but then I've learned that they are very instrumental <laughs> in a good ride um, when I was a kid, I rode around on a 10-speed a tandem bike with another person, I can't remember, some other kid, right? And we couldn't, we couldn't ride it because the handlebars were narrow. They were like 10-speed handlebars, you know, like the ram horn type handlebars, and we just could not stay stabilized. So, I was kind of concerned because after I bought it, I realized the little lady hasn't rode on a bike since the 1970s. And uh, so I was thinking, man, did I buy this thing and I'm never going to be able to use it? Well, we took it for a ride today. Sorry, no footage. Maybe get some here before too long. But yeah, we managed to ride it and it was fun. It was really good. It's just a one speed. It's, Nothing fancy. I don't want to be messing with gears while I'm riding. That's what I was thinking when I bought it. Uh, here in Michigan, most of the roads and stuff are pretty flat. So it's not really an issue where you got to go to a different speed or anything like that. Just one speed bicycle. Simple, you know, just reverse some pedals for a brake. It's good. I don't need no hand lever brakes. Yeah, this thing is not fancy or nothing. It looks cool. Nothing fancy. No, um quick release front wheel or anything like that everything's nuts bolts and nothing high dollar I'll tell you but it is nice it's fun to ride and I like it it does come in another color and that would be orange but I let little lady pick the color let's go inside I'm a little thirsty yes that bike is pretty cool it's just cool to be able to ride with her and have her talking to me in my ear while we're riding a bike and uh we did put up a pretty good sweat and uh that was fun but now let's try a pop one that's new to me it's called dang that's good butterscotch root beer This one comes out of Milwaukee. I know another YouTuber out of Milwaukee. I uh, wonder if he ever had this. Dang, that's good. Butterscotch root beer. But it's in like a good old Milwaukee beer bottle, brown bottle. Let's take the cap off. Doesn't look like a twist off, which I, I applaud. Twist offs don't hold good carbonation sometimes. Let's get, see what kind of hiss we get. Oh yeah, I heard it. Did you hear it? Let's give it a pour and see what we got. Oh yeah, butterscotch root beer. Jeez, it don't seem like much. Got a good carbonation, a little bit of a head on there, not much. 
you can see the bubbles on the walls of the glass. Dark in color, like a cola. Let's put a nose on it. All I can really smell is the root beer. I don't smell butterscotch. Let's give it a try. Well, at first, you're just drinking root beer. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, one of those hard butterscotch candies just sneaks up right up on you. Really good. Weird. It does, when you drink it, it is kind of like in a stage root beer, and then it turns into butterscotch. Now I think if you drink more than one bottle of this stuff, your palate would kind of get, you're going to have that butterscotch in your mouth no matter what. That taste will stay in your mouth. You won't lose that flavor. Actually, I can almost, it's almost being retained in my mouth right now. Dang, that's good. Dang, that's good. Dang, that's good. Gluten-free, I don't care about that. Caffeine-free, I need the caffeine, okay? I like it that way. But yeah, the people at Imperial Flavors Beverage in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, they gave us this, this nice butterscotch root beer. Dang, that's good.